connector. So we have our standard wire nut, power is off. I'll show you the pre-twist, nothing too fancy, just a very common DIY pre-twist. And then we have our Waga 221 in the middle. Now this is the 613 that goes up to 10 gauge. And then we have the Harbor Freight or the Pittsburgh brand or the Vanguard brand. And then what we're really looking at is what is the overall temperature in this connector and how does that compare to our standard wire nut? All right, we'll go ahead and crank on our space heaters. This one to max. This one I'm gonna go to 1300 watt setting. And our third one, I'll crank this guy all the way up. Now I'll take those heating elements a second to turn on and then we'll get an idea of what we're actually running over here. 3,300 watts. So if we run 30 amps, we'd expect to be about 3,600, which we're creeping up to. All right, so it looks like we'll be around 3,700 and then it does start to stabilize here. So I'll keep an eye on it, but that is going to be at 30 amps or just above for this testing. All right, so we've been running for five minutes and the silhouette is a little offset from the heat signature, but we see about 116 at the Harbor Freight and then a maximum around 112 for the Wago and then the wire nuts coming in around 102. All right, so there's five separate intervals, five minutes for each interval. So I ran for 25 minutes at that 30 amps or actually a little bit above. So if we look at this at 5, 10, 15, 20, and 25 minutes, you'll see the column for wire nuts in degrees Fahrenheit, Wago 221, Harbor Freight, and then a design max I put out there. You can see the line graphs there. The wire nut, for all of my different testing I've done, the wire nut is always the best. It has the least amount of resistance there, so the least amount of heat, or at least from the outside of the wire nut, it does not transfer that heat out. So maybe there's some escaping from the bottom, but it is always the lowest temperature from when I've test versus lever nuts. The Wagga lever nut was slightly better than the Harbor Freight, but they all kind of reached a steady state or equilibrium point where the heat generated from the overall load that we were putting through it equaled the amount that it could reject to the environment because it was pretty much open to the air, which is good to see that they didn't just continue to go up. And the Harbor Freight was only slightly higher at 125 or 126 degrees Fahrenheit and the, and the Wago was around 124 degrees Fahrenheit as a max. So let's go ahead and look at that with respect to a design maximum. Then we bring in a, a straight line here which represents a design maximum. So we have a large gap between the temperatures we're seeing and the temperatures that we know these components can handle.